Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation, which also contains logarithms. We have x to the power 1 over ln x equals 1, and we're going to be solving for x values. Now, when you look at an equation like this, the first thing that comes to mind usually if you have dealt with equations like this is to log both sides. Since we are using uh, natural log as our base, which is e, then it would make sense if we ln both sides. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at it from different perspectives. So here's my plan. I'm going to show you a couple things about this uh, equation by, you know, logging both sides. And we're going to be looking at a graph as well. And then we'll kind of talk about what it means. So notice that our the answer is 1. So when you have something to the power something equals 1, those kinds of equations are actually very easy to solve because... For example, uh, suppose you have a to the power b equals 1. In this case, we only have a couple options. For example, a can be 1 and b can be pretty much anything. a can be negative 1 and then in this case, b has to be even. Of course, that means that b has to be an integer in this case. Or uh, a is not equal to 0 and b is equal to 0. Because any non-zero number to the zero power equals one. Zero to the power zero is very problematic. We looked at it uh, in a couple different videos, so that's why we have to exclude a equals one. A equals zero, I mean. Okay. So those are the cases. So looking at it from that perspective, I, I could safely say that x can equal one, right? So what if x equals one? But that causes a problem because we have a fraction one over ln x and if x is equal to one then ln x is equal to zero and then one over zero undefined uh oh no good okay so that's problematic so what am i supposed to do x equals one cannot be the answer and we also have the ln function which means that if you're looking for real solutions x must be positive so we do know that x is positive and x does not equal one so those are the two restrictions for our domain uh, under those conditions let's see if we can find another solution so let's go through the cases can a equal negative one well we just said that x must be positive therefore we can't really use negative one here as a base what about uh, b being zero well one over ln x equals zero doesn't really give us anything because that means ln x needs to be infinity but infinity is not a number if x approaches infinity then this happens, but it's just a limit. It's not a particular value that you can use. So this is also very, very problematic. So this equation is very pro problematic. What is going on, right? Let's go to an ln both sides and see what happens. Okay, from a different perspective. So I'm going to ln both sides. So ln x to the power 1 over ln x equals ln 1, all right? So let's go ahead and move this because that's the power rule. So 1 over ln x multiplied by ln x equals ln 1. But we just talked about ln 1. ln 1 is equal to 0. That is true for any logarithm. Uh, you have anything like uh, any base, log 1 is always 0. Okay. So from here, we get something very interesting. ln x cancels out as long as it's not equal to 0. ln x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 1. So you can safely say that, hey, suppose x does not equal 1, then I can cancel these out. But this gives us something even weirder, 1 equals 0. Uh-oh, that's not good at all, right? This is absurd. It's, that, this is nonsense. So what is that supposed to mean? It means that we don't really get any solutions by aligning both sides. But sometimes aligning both sides can be problematic. But let's go ahead and take a look at the graph now. So here I just graphed these two functions because we're looking for a solution to the equation x to the power 1 over ln x equals 1. So I am looking for an intersection point. I know I didn't give you the whole graph. Hope, uh, well, I was probably supposed to give you a little bit more, but let me tell you something. It's not going to change. And like you're like, what? How is that blue graph a horizontal line? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at it from another perspective. So we have y equals x to the power 1 over ln x. Let's try to understand what this means. We said that x does not equal 1 and x is positive. Awesome. So let's go ahead and ln both sides here. ln y equals ln x to the power 1 over ln x. And then let's go ahead and move this to the front. That gives us ln y equals 1 over ln x times ln x. Again, this is equal to 1. And from here we get ln y equals ln e, which means 
y is equal to e. So this expression right here is actually always equal to e. So in other words, x to the power 1 over ln x is equal to e. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it from another perspective. And why is this happening? Why do we have a function on the left-hand side that kind of contains the variable x, but on the right-hand side, we do have a constant. So here's what we can do. Uh, and again, I'm going to be using some properties of logarithms, and I'm still thinking about making a video on properties of logarithms. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to do it in anytime soon, uh, because I think the properties of logs are very important. Anyways, uh, so we're going to be using what is called the change of, uh, what is that called? Change of base. Okay, great. I was going to say like change of lanes, but that's for driving. So change of base, how do you use that? So if you have a, a log, like let's say a, log a in with base b, then you can basically write it as ln a over ln b. If you're using the ln function, of course. If you're using the base 10, you can write it as log a over log b. So in other words, as long as a and b are placed correctly, uh, the log doesn't matter. You can pretty much use any base. Okay, so let's see if we can find the answer uh, by using that. So here's what I can do. I can um, write the 1 over ln x as ln e over ln x. Okay, so 1 over ln x equals ln e over ln x. Now I'm going to use the change of base uh, change of base property, but I'll use it backwards. Can I use it backwards? Yes, of course. Uh, so this means log and then, so notice that the, the top number A is going to be our argument and the bottom number B is going to be the base. So the base in this case is X and our argument is going to be E. So this is like log E with base X and now we're raising X to the power of that. Let's go ahead and do it now. X to the power log E with base X and why is this equal to E? Well, it makes sense because these two are the same. And again, if you want to uh, set it equal to z, and then you can log both sides with base x. Let's do it. I'm logging both sides. So I'm kind of looking at the same problem, I'm kind of like, I know, beating a dead horse, but I just wanted to show you different perspectives here. So if I move that to the, uh, to the front, log x with base x is going to be 1, so I'm going to get the following from here, which means z is equal to e. But what is z? z is this expression right here or this expression right here. So that kind of proves that this expression is always equal to e. So what is that supposed to mean? Let's go ahead and take a look at it from the graph, graphical perspective. Well, uh, as long as x is positive and different from 0, this is going to be a constant, which is e, our Euler's number. And you know, Euler is a great mathematician, so on and so forth. He's done so many great things. But anyways, so y equals e is a horizontal line. As you can see here, uh, I, I don't have the scale or the numbers, but you can tell that this is, I think this is 1, right? And this is about 2, and this is 2.7 something, which is e. So that means that we have two horizontal lines. Obviously, they do not intersect. Therefore, this equation has no solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let, please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.